हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट क्लास वी स्टडीड टू टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस कंसीडरिंग द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ द वेब फ्रंट लाइक आवर यंग स्टेबल स्टेट एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड अनदर वन इज योर बाय प्रिज्म नाउ वी विल सी वन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टू इन दिस टू केसेस फर्स्ट व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग वी आर गेटिंग सम विड्थ ऑफ द वाइट डार्क फ्रिंजेस देन पाथ रेफरेंस बिटवीन two waves coming from the source s1 and s2 there is some path difference is there that also we are able to calculate and i have written the formula of the path path difference that is delta what is delta i think you have remembered you had s1 s2 light was propagating like this this much was your delta and uh, from this one from delta path difference you are getting whether you are getting going to get the maxima or you are get, going to get the minima maxima refers to your light fringe and the minima refers to your dark fringe now we'll see by using this principle how we calculate the width of a mica sheet actually anything you can calculate uh, but mica sheet means that is somehow transparent means light can pass through that mica you might have seen um, uh, mica is present inside fan uh, you might have seen the capacitor of the fan inside that there is a brown color material that is called your mica mica sheet that is a dielectric material and by this principle by this method we will measure the thickness of the mica sheet what is the thickness and can you please answer me what is the other method we can use to measure the thickness slide caliper slide caliper uh, this is very thin in case of very thin we can't ca uh, calculate by slide caliper so easily we can't implement this formula this uh, experiment to measure the width let's have a look how we will measure same thing students as my slit was there slit will be there as usual this is my s1 this is my s2 light will go this way screen will be there as usual this is the point p and uh, this is having distance to d okay and this is s1 p s2 p and this is the path difference we have considered r that is delta and this delta is this much that means whatever y uh, d is constant capital d is constant so that depend upon your y according to y your path difference will change here whatever p uh, this one will be your y For p, y amount is this much. If I take a point here, then that will be another amount, another value of for y. Accordingly, you will get different path means delta. Then you can get constructive or destructive, whatever be. So here, suppose I will keep a mica sheet of width t. See guys, same thing in Young's double slit experiment. What we are doing? We are uh, same thing. What we are doing? S one P was a light. Then S two P was another light. We are simply uh, subtracting S one P from S two P to get the path difference. But what happened? This line is completely passing through the air. this line is also passing through air but in this region there is a material having a refractive index what is refractive index of the material that is suppose mu is a refractive index that is the formula of the refractive index refractive index of a material is the velocity in the medium velocity of light in the medium divided by velocity in the air that is your refractive index that means light will pass सो लाइट तुम एयर जो स्पीड पास कर गोटे मीडियम कम पास कर बिकज तार रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स अधिक रोटा कि कहते बहलिया के बहलिया से लाइट पा सलीड सलीड लाइट बहुत रेयर दे पार इन केस अफ ग्लास प्रिजम ह्वाट इज हापनिंग स्ट्रेट लाइन गोईंग बेडिंग दैट मीन भेलोसीट इज डिक्रिजिंग दैट इज द कनसेप्ट ओके इन द माइंड सो हि व्हाट हापनिंग लाइट इज प्रोपागेटिंग इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन Uh, in uh, uh, air medium it's fine but here light is facing a refractive index uh, of uh, mu let's say i'll say it mu 
with velocity Vm. I will assume that the velocity of the light inside the mica of thickness T is Vm and outside it's Va. Now I will calculate how much path, what is the path covered by light in S1P. That I will calculate. Okay my dear students, uh, so now I will calculate what is the time taken by the light to cover S1 to P, S1 to P up to P means S1P, time taken for S1P, I will calculate now, when this was only air medium, simply I was telling the time by projecting the light, then I was subtracting from S2P, but here one more medium is there, that is your mica sheet. So, how I will get, and the time taken in the air medium, plus time taken in the refractive index, means time taken for the mica sheet. So, if I add, that is the time taken for S1P to reach at the P. So, first I wrote time taken for air path, what is air path? S1P minus T. I told this mica sheet having a thickness of T. If I will subtract the thickness from the total path, so I will get only the air medium, the time taken for the air medium, then separately I took for the T. Now, time taken for air medium means distance by velocity. You know velocity equal to distance by time. So, time will be distance by velocity. What is the distance? That is S1P minus T. Total distance without this mica sheet. That is for your air medium only. By velocity in air medium. Then we will come to the mica sheet. The thickness. What is S here? Nothing but the thickness. So, thickness divided by the velocity inside the mica sheet. That is Vm. One more thing I told. What is your refractive index? Mu. Velocity of light in air medium with velocity of light in that medium where we are calculating. In the last class I told uh, different. Um, different means Vm by V. Actually this is Va by Vm. So, what is your Vm? Your Vm is Va by mu. Simply I will put it here. S1P minus T by VA plus T by VA mu. See here, this mu I am taking up. Mu T. VA, VA common is there. So, I can write it as visible. VA S1P minus T plus mu t so s1p plus if i take common t what will be mu minus 1 divided by va what is this one this amount is nothing but that the light is taking this much amount of time to cross s1p path that means this is the one more thing I am going to do is, I am going to do the time calculate. Mane time equal to this much path plus t mu is the refractive index of the medium divided by velocity of the in the air. So, distance by time, I am going to do it easily. I am going to do it fast. Only air medium was there without any, back, without any refractive index material. So, we are taking only VA, S1P by VA. Here we got our path is this much. Plus T into mu minus 1. This much path is covered by the light to cross S1P path. So, for S2P, no need to do such type of long things. Simply this is going in the air medium. Simple. So now, what we will do, we will get the path difference. Same thing, everywhere we are calculating path difference. Here also we will calculate the path difference. So, what is the path difference here? As I told, S2P minus S1P in air medium. What is S2P? S2P, S2P remain as usual, minus. Instead of S1P, that is the... And the distance S1P is this much I have told. So this one here S1P plus T into mu minus 1. Okay. Now more simplifying S2P S1P minus T into mu minus 1. Okay students, is it fine? 
So I told uh, uh, this much path. What is this much? S two p minus S one p is the path difference. That is your delta. Okay, that is your delta. So this is nothing but your delta. How much is your delta? Two i d by d plus sorry minus t into mu minus one. So this much path difference you are getting. When we are introducing one mica sheet in the traveling path of S one p line, right? आम बर्तमान ये पाल डिफरेंस पाल जो आमर किसी माइका सीट ना सिंपली एस वन पी लाइन जाऊला एस टू पी लाइन जाऊ तो आमको पाल डिफरेन्स मिले टू वाइ डी माइनस डी बर्तमान आमको पाल डिफरेन्स किसी एक्सट्रा टर्म मिलूँ कौन पाई वी हाव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वन माइका सीट ओके दिस इज द पाल डिफरेन्स ना वी कंपेयर दिस पाल टू फ्रेंड्स व्हाट एवर व्हाट एवर पाल डिफरेन्स वी हाव Previously, whatever path difference I was calculating, after calculating the path difference in different cases, what I was doing, I was equating that with my path difference that I got in the maxima that I got for the minima. For maxima, when uh, path difference maxima के तेरी थी लामरो, n lambda, minima के तेरी थी लाख two n plus one lambda by two. Remember these things, students. So, by introducing my cassette, light is reflecting. So one second. Okay, fine. Uh, by introducing my cash sheet, I got the path difference of this much. So I will equate this path difference with both minima and maxima case. Let's do it for. Uh, I will do for one case that is for minima, so maxima and uh, uh, minima case will be the same also that you try. If you can't, then tell me. So I will equate these two. That is your visible now. Two y, two y d by d minus t into mu minus one equal to n lambda. This is for maxima. Okay, this is for maxima. Two y d by d remain as usual. All these things I will take from this side to this side. Now your y will be n lambda into t mu minus one. Cross multiplication, students. This d went to this side, and simple two d left. So whatever y we are getting there, what was our y? N lambda d by two d. This case we didn't have any mica sheet. Only simple S one P and S two P was there. Only air medium thila. Kichhi mica sheet material refractive index kichhi no thila. Jethar hum the refractive index introduce kore, sathte bolle kaha hoychi. Amar o actually normal jethar kichhi no thila. Amko mili thila thiki. Y equal to two n n lambda divided by two d. Jethar hum introduce kore the mica sheet. Amar kitte kute extra term amar add hoychi. This is the extra term. T mu minus one d by two d. This is the extra term introduced due to the introduction of the mic. Uh, as here I have considered n, n how I got n? This n n lambda. N lambda means I have n number n th number of the fringes. So let's do n n plus one means just next fringe. By putting n plus one instead of n, let's do that one also. So y will be n plus one into lambda plus t into mu minus one into d by two d. This is suppose y two, this is zero y one. N lambda plus T into mu minus one. This two we got. Now I will get the path difference. I got y two, I got y one. Y one is y one is is your n th order fringe, and y two is your n plus one order fringe. So what what is the will be different? Different will be y two minus y one. Simply I will do it here. So. 
y2 minus y1 will be your n plus 1 lambda plus t mu minus 1 d my dear students while you are watching the video also cast your note in your hand and watch the video because everything is mentioned beautifully in the note d by 2d simple subtraction is there n lambda d to d n lambda d to d so this part getting cancelled first part getting cancelled second part also getting cancelled so what else is left so by solving this one you will get your uh, distance is coming as lambda d by 2d simplified properly you will get this much what is this one this one is nothing but uh, fringe width okay what is this this is your fringe width what i told suppose you are getting your y2 this one here y1 and the next one is your y2 okay up to here y1 up to here y2 so the distance between these two is nothing but your fringe width and by subtracting this you got the fringe width as lambda d by 2d I'm going fringe width mil gala bartaman ame dekhiba time kete sorry thickness bartan measure kariba amko to width mil gala kintu muk fast kon kaithili without using slide caliper we will measure the thickness of the mica sheet just by this young stable state experiment or this by fringe experiment so now uh, we will calculate the thickness of the mica okay let's see what is the width of the mica that means amount of t how much is the t jeto bale amaro t nathila mane mica sheet nathila am kon milthila n lambda d by 2d sheet introduce kala pore amko extra thick term milila ta mane this is due to sheet mica sheet pai amko etiki miluchi so this is our path means this is the extra path for which we are getting y and this is coming due to my sheet so simple calculation i will multiply lambda here and i will divide lambda here to lambda d by 2d okay I multiplied one lambda here, I divided one lambda here. So t mu minus 1 divided by lambda, this is nothing but your width. In the last expression, I calculated this is the width, width of the fringes. Here I have calculated by y2 minus y1. So your t is this, t will be s lambda mu minus 1 into omega. See now, as you know, what is the extra path covered that you know that is nothing but your S lambda is also known to you. If not known to you, then I told you the way how to calculate lambda by the bifringe experiment. And lambda is always given, that is always given data. Then mu minus 1, mu is given refractive right index omega, that is the width. Just by knowing these things, you can calculate what is the thick what is the thickness of your introduced mica sheet or whatever with the material and uh, this is the application of your interference by the wave front uh, um, wave front splitting ok this is it all regarding your wave front splitting in the next class we will see how you will deal with the amplitude splitting by the amplitude, amplitude splitting we are getting reflection refracted so two type of sources we are getting and these are acting as coherent sources they are superpositioning means superimposing with each other then once again we are getting alternate patches dark light uh, due to the amplitude splitting that we will see in the next class thank you so much